Hi, this is Gareth Kentish and today's video is aimed at showing you how to load a HTML file into the Composer HTML editor. And what we'll do is use the follow-up email as an example, making a few adjustments to suit your particular requirements. To access the follow-up email file, what we need to do is to click on the link as shown here within the Auction Money Generator program and what we'll see is the email as if it was being sent out to the customer. So just to recap, you can see here that I have my logo with a hyperlink to my online shop and I've got a number of ads here promoting cycle stuff. I also have a link to my eBay shop here and I've left the details of myself and my telephone number etc within the email. And one other thing I've also included is the option to unsubscribe here. So how do I grab this text and insert it into the Composer HTML editor? I can do that by clicking the right side of the mouse in a blank space on the screen, so let's do that. I then get the option to view the page source, so I'll click on that. And then I get the Technobabble as you can see here on the screen. And what I need to do is move the cursor to the top left hand side and then grab all the text so I'm just depressing the left hand side of the mouse and I'm moving my cursor down to the bottom of the screen and once I've got to the bottom everything's highlighted in blue I then go control C which stores that into the computer memory now there's two things I can do here once I've got it into computer memory I can then place it into my notepad just so that I have a permanent record of that code and I'll open my notepad and store the uh, text in the file here and I go control V there's all my text and then if I click on file save as and then I'm able to store that then onto my local computer so what I'll do for this exercise just close that down because the next thing I need to do is to load that text into the composer editor so let's do that too so from where I've stored the text let's just flick over into composer I've now opened up Composer and remember to place the text into the source area so click on the source tab here first delete the text here and then control V and we've now got the text stored in the Composer HTML editor so far so good let's see if we've had success and the way that we do that is to click on the preview tab down the bottom here and what that will do is it will display the source as if it was being opened up in a web browser and by the looks of things we do have success because you can see there we've got the images and we've got the logos and we've got the links to the eBay shop fantastic so what we want to do now is to make the adjustments to suit your particular requirements and the way you would do that is to click the normal tab down the bottom here and that allows us now to add text and modify the text and change some of these images. I'm hoping you'll notice that the page that's been created is using a table and as mentioned before in earlier videos within the auction money generator program the reason why we use tables is because it helps us define the structure of the page that we want to present so we're able then to make adjustments in each of these cells without impacting the position of the other text across the screen so armed with the knowledge gleaned from the other videos available within the auction money generator program I'm hoping that you have enough knowledge now to make the adjustments within the HTML editor even add your own advertisements and replacing the ones that you can see here for example replace train with cav with your own advertisements that you picked up through Google AdSense or Commission Junction for example and also provide a link here to your own online shop if you've got your own web uh, site and then a link to your own eBay shop or eBay account. The idea of using the normal area within the HTML editor is that it allows you to make these adjustments with very little knowledge of HTML. 
So I'm hoping this video has been helpful and you have the confidence now to put your own images in there, making sure that they are accessible across the web using your own internet service provider account and able to produce these follow-up emails and build up that relationship with your eBay customers. Thanks again. My name's Gareth Kentish.